Hey everyone, that gamer Ajax here, or you can call me Andrew. And today we're going to be starting a series regarding Dungeons and Dragons, which I'm a self-professed nerd about. Um, we'll be talking a little bit about some of the basics. You know, what is the game? Uh, how do you play it? Uh, some player perspectives in terms of classes and races that are available to you at this time, and even some DM tips and tricks because I happen to do both. Um, so let's go ahead and just dive right into this. What exactly is Dungeons and Dragons? It is a tabletop role-playing game, which is usually a group of friends either uh, gathered on computers in this day and age or around a table where a dungeon master leads the group through a storybook-esque adventure and your players are role-playing through the experience and rolling dice to determine the outcomes. And honestly, that's about all there is to it. Uh, a series of campaigns can be short or long, depending on preference, and at this point, the game has become incredibly popular thanks to podcasts and streams such as The Adventure Zone and Critical Role, which are getting hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views over the span of a month. So let's dive into this and uh, kind of break it down a little bit about what I personally like about the game. Uh, at this point, it's been around for quite a while. We're in the fifth edition, so there's a lot of material that's available both in print and online. Uh, to get started, you really only need about three things. Um, I highly recommend getting yourself a copy of a Dungeon Master Guide, a Monster Manual, and a Player's Handbook. And really, that's about all you need. Uh, there are free resources that are available online if you're wanting to look into such as the Unearthed Arcana, which is playtest material, and there are a lot of other uh, pre-made books and guides uh, to help kind of guide you through your first couple of adventures before you feel comfortable writing your own. Uh, it's such a fun game because it really kind of challenges your, your imagination and, and how well you can kind of get into a character as a, as a player or how well you can write as a DM. Uh, personally, I write for my day job, but uh, this allows me to get into that full creative mindset when I'm leading people through an adventure that I've custom built specifically for them. Uh, if you're not quite comfortable with that, I'd highly recommend starting with a book called The Lost Minds of Van Deller. It's an excellent starting adventure, gets your players kind of going right into things, and you don't have to do as much prep because it's already there and for you. Uh, it is also such a great way to spend a couple of hours either once a week, uh, every other week, once a month in some cases, but you know, get those friends together, you know, make a good meal, play this game and really just kind of hang out. It can be super casual if that's really what you're going for. And as a player, my absolute favorite thing about this is that I get to feel like I'm the main character in this high fantasy adventure. Um, I've been reading a lot of uh, fiction books ever since I was about this tall or so, and this is just the easiest way for me to do it. I've played a wide variety of characters, um, some, some shifty, some great. Uh, but again, it's all up to personal preference and you as a player and as a DM have the ability to really make something that's magical. And I've never been turned away from a table and some of the friends that I've made during D&D are some of the ones I still have to this day. And we reminisce on adventures from years ago. So, uh, let's go ahead and get this series started, shall we? And how about you just stay a while and listen? Thanks.